Christina Amelon from the Optimal Health Network, and I'm going to talk about the 10 Days to Optimal Health Diet. I created this diet um, over the um, 25 years that I've been working with dietary sciences and human health, and I've based it off of the research of Dr. Weston A. Price, and it also incorporates the best of things like the carnivore diet and the keto diet and um, low-carb diets and anti-inflammatory diets. So it's a really great foundational diet to bring you to optimal health. Food is foundational when thinking about optimizing your health pretty much in all situations. Food is medicine. So always take a look at your diet if you're looking to improve your health. And this is also a great diet to use with a colon cleansing program because it's laid out as a 35 day program that also includes a five day fast at the end of the 30 days. So you follow, I put it in 10 day chunks because it's always easier to do something for a smaller amount of time and then you feel better and you want to keep going. So I've put it together with three chunks of 10 days followed by a five day fast. And so this program is excellent for um, cleansing and uh, using as a lifestyle program. So some of the elements of the 10 day program are to stay well hydrated. It's very important to keep yourself hydrated. So I suggest that you drink like a half a cup of water every half an hour is a great um, measure to keep yourself optimally hydrated. You wanna make sure you have a real high quality water. So something that's um, filtered, for instance, reverse osmosis is great. So high quality water frequently. Then also you want to uh, eat healthy fruits and vegetables, organic ideally, and to do that in balance with proteins and fats. So the macronutrient and micronutrient ratios are in a good balance. I recommend uh, often now celery juice first thing in the morning when you wake up. I think it's a great way to remineralize the body and to prepare yourself for your healthy breakfast. For breakfast, I recommend eating a small amount of fruit first and then following that up with some healthy proteins and fats like leftovers from the night before with some leftover steak and potatoes or some eggs and hash browns or um, just a can of sardines with an avocado. Those are all great examples of good breakfasts. Um, and then you want to be thinking about keeping your blood sugar stable, which is also really important for adrenal health and stress management. So I recommend eating smaller meals more frequently. So you might think about eating a small meal every two to three hours. In general, it's important to eat high quality proteins and fats throughout the day. I recommend about five to 25 grams of protein per meal and also to make sure that with your meats you're having organic and grass-fed whenever possible. I also think that um, what we're doing to the oceans is really problematic so at this point it seems that we have to stay away from um, eating a lot of fish but if you do eat the fish stay with the smaller fish like um, the sardines. Uh, and the anchovies, things like that. And then in terms of high quality fats, again, organic as much as possible, but things like avocados and MCT oil and coconut oil and um, free range eggs, healthy fats like that. Another category of food that's important to think about is foods that are rich in enzymes to help you digest your foods and also promote to optimal digestion throughout the mouth all the way to the anus. So those are fermented foods, kombucha, raw foods, even um, cooking your meat rare adds to its digestibility. So that is a category that you want to uh, 
really focus on to have in your diet. And then nutrient-rich foods are also core to this program. Foods like bone broth soup, which you can either buy the bone broth or you can buy bones and then prepare the bone broth soup um, by cooking those bones for some hours and then adding in your vegetables to that. So and that helps mineralize the body and um, also gives you a, a healthy nutrients um, like collagen for your skin and your tissues and your own building and repair. And then the next thing is raw dairy it can also be a great food because it is rich in enzymes and also the fat soluble vitamins um, A and D and E. And so I highly recommend if you can access raw milk to uh, try that out and um, if that's easily digestible by you, you, in other words, you don't get gas or bloating raw, dairy can be a wonderful therapeutic food. The foods to stay away from are um, too many carbohydrates. It's really important to uh, find that great balance again of your um, macronutrients so you're eating enough proteins and fats and not too many carbohydrates. Um, for some people starting off, I recommend as few as five grams of carbohydrates per meal, but um, most people will do somewhere between 20 to 40 grams per meal, 20 is probably better. Um, and then also I recommend um, you stay away from gluten completely, sugar completely, alcohol completely, and that you really focus on the therapeutic foods. I do find that uh, changing your diet is a great opportunity to integrate your uh, emotional health into the process also because often when we change our diet we run up against a lot of um, emotional difficulty that can then be processed to bring about greater health and integration into the um, into your whole health so that's the rough outline for um, my 10 days to optimal health diet and I know that you will find greater health by following the resources in um, this dietary plan. So if you need any support to follow this or you want um, individual coaching, you can definitely reach out to us at OptimalHealthNetwork.com and we would be so happy to help you optimize your health through diet.